hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel in the last video uh, we learned how to uh, make this chicken follow our player so let me play this and you will notice uh, when the game starts the chicken will start following our player now but we want it to follow after our player collides with it so to do that I'm going back to my chicken script and uh, this is actually uh, the code that makes our chicken follow our player so we only want to run this code when we collide with our chicken so for for that I'm going to write a boolean variable called follow and uh, by default it is set to false so in the update at the start of the update we are going to check if follow return and we are going to negate it so what we are doing here by default the follow is false so the follow will be false and after taking its negation this condition will become true and if it is true then return we don't want this code to execute so what it means that whenever the follow is false this code is not going to execute let me save it and go back to our game and if i play now you will notice that the chicken is not going to follow our player and we want it to follow when we collide with it so for that we are going to write this function on trigger enter 2d and in here we are going to check if we are colliding with the player so simply set the follow to true it means now chicken can follow our player save it and play the game now remember for this you have to have a uh, collider on your chicken and its is trigger property should be set to true and our character must have a tag with co called player now after that we also want to check if our max or enemy is hitting with our chicken so actually uh, the uh, the player will collect the chickens and the max or enemy job is to take away chickens from our player so that's why we are also put another condition in on trigger enter if the tag is max then we don't want our chicken to follow our player so we are going to set follow to false now if I play now as our max character collides with it the chicken no more follows our player now now uh, this in the scene we will have multiple chickens so let me select it and press ctrl D or command D on Mac to duplicate it and we are going to put one right here now let me play this now you can see that we can collect both our chickens but because uh, the position will the position of both the chicken will be same so that it looks like that we only have one chicken because if I make the position same you can see that we have two chickens but we can see only one so other one is uh, other one falls behind the first chicken so uh, we want to put another restriction on our player that at a time he can only collect one chicken so we need to detect if already he has collected one chicken then he cannot collect another chicken until he save this chicken into 
home so we will create a small home here so to do that what we can do is when our player collects the child uh, chicken we will put this chicken into the child of this player so in the player children you can see that in its child we only have one object called ground position to detect the uh, ground whether the player is on ground or not so uh, we are going to when uh, we are going to put this chicken into the child after the collision so to do that we can do a simple we can call a simple function called transform dot set parent and in argument we can put a transform object so we can we want it to become a child of player so we will say player dot transform now save it go back now you can notice that there is only one child but if i play and collect the ch chicken the chicken will be in the player's children so if the player has already one chicken in his child objects in his children object as a children object then he is not allowed to collect the other children chicken so what we can do here is and uh, in the max when the max hits our we want to release this chicken from the parent of the player so we will simply say transform dot parent equals now because the chicken has been snatched from our player so mm, our player is no more parent and uh, to detect now in here we are going to detect if the player already has a chicken in his child so we will simply say player dot transform dot child count so this will return the number of objects in the child of current in the child of players transform so we are going to store it into an integer variable called children now if children equals to then return so as we know that the kitty has already one object as a child which is ground position and after collecting this chicken the child count will be 2 so if the child count is 2 then he is not allowed to collect another chicken so that's what we are doing here is if the if that player has two children then return so this these two lines will not execute and mm, no other chicken can be collected by our player now save this and uh, let me play the game <coughs> Now you can notice that we cannot collect another chicken so uh, that's it for this video and uh, i will see you in a next video and if you play like the video kindly uh, like this hit the like button and do share this video